Hi everybody, Johnny here. Let's make a game together. For this game we'll need some paper, something to write with, some dice and playing pieces, and um, oh, we'll need a bear. So let's go ahead and make our game board. Turn the paper like this to start with. And what do we want to do first? I know what we want to do. I'm going to start at the very top here, and we're going to draw some craggly side of a mountain all the way down. And let's do the same on the other side. Craggly mountain top going all the way down. Very, very steep. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Let's add to this. Add some more on the side here. Going all the way up to here. And what do we want here? Let's see. Let's draw this all the way out. Something like that. Down a little bit. Okay, I'm starting to see something here. Maybe that's the abominable snowman. What else do we need? Oh, let's put a couple lines right here. They don't have to be solid lines, but they'll be good starting places. And below that, let's write the number 0, and then 1, and then 5, 10, 12, and 20. And on the other side here, let's go ahead and put some more cragginess. What a steep mountain. And let's put a little bit of a line down the middle. Maybe a crevasse. And then something to stand on. Let's make sure we get the right number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on that side. Let's do the same on the other side. Let's see right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's put one nice landing spot at the top. That'll be ten. That's looking great so far. We have some numbers, we have a mountain, we have an abominable snowman. We need some operations. Let's start over here. We'll start at the top and we'll go plus, and then a space between and putting another plus. Below that we'll put another plus and a minus. And then we'll have a minus and a plus. And then we'll have minus and minus. Now we need some parentheses. Parentheses, a space and a plus, parentheses, and then times. And below that, parentheses, minus, parentheses, times. Make sure there's a space here. Two more. Let's put a times, a space, and a plus. And down here, we'll put times and minus. Same over here. We'll start off with plus, space, plus plus space minus, minus space plus, minus minus, parentheses, space plus, parentheses, times, let's see, parentheses, space minus, space, parentheses, times, and we have two more, right? A plus, I'm sorry, a times, and then a plus, and then a times, and a minus. I think the only thing we need now is a title. What do we call this? Oh, I know what to call it. Let's call it Operation Mountaintop. That looks good. So we'll have players trying to make it all the way to the top. Looks like a great game board. So what we'll need for this game is some dice. And if you have two sets of three dice, that's great. If you don't, you can use one dice and use it a lot of times, or a couple dice a lot as well. But we'll make it work. We'll need a couple playing pieces. We'll have blue starting here, and we'll have red starting down here as well. 
they're not making their way up just yet. And then we're going to need a marker right here for these numbers down here. These numbers are going to be what helps us make our climb to the top. So let me show you how this game starts. We'll start with zero here. And let's see. I'll give these dice to red and these dice to blue. And blue will go first. What blue's trying to do is try to get to a number that's close to zero. Red will have a turn as well to try to get to a number that's close to zero. Whichever one of the two players gets closest to zero gets to make an ascent and start climbing their way up to the top. So blue rolls. Red rolls. Now blue is trying to get close to zero as possible. And blue says, oh, I can see something really good here. So what blue's going to do is put one dice here, four, minus four, and then multiply that by three. Now four minus four is zero, and zero times three is zero. So that's a perfect number for this. Red's taking a turn. And red sees something similar. Red says, I can do what you're doing, blue. I'll go red five minus five times three. Five minus five is zero. Zero times three is also zero. Since they both got closest to the number together, they both get to make one step up the mountain. The next number they're going to work towards is the number one. So they roll the dice again. Blue rolls and red rolls. Blue sees that, well, maybe, maybe blue can do four plus four is eight, and eight minus five is three. That's a pretty good number. What can red do? Red says, well, maybe I'll start with a three. I'll subtract one, and I'll subtract one more. Three minus one is two. Two minus one is one. That's a perfect number, so red gets to climb to the next step. They roll again. This time they're trying to get closest to the number five. Blue decides to go six plus three is nine, and nine minus two is seven. That's pretty close to five. What can red do? Red does something similar. Six plus three is nine, except that red gets to subtract four, and nine minus four is five. Red gets to make the next step up, because red is closest to the number five. They play another round. This time they're trying to get to the number ten. Who will be closest? Red says, well, I can do four times three is twelve, and twelve minus one is eleven. That's pretty good for blue. What can red do? Red says, oh, I don't want blue to go up any further. So red says, how about if we went 5 plus 4 is 9, and 9 and 2 more make 11? It's the same as blues. So both of them get to make the next step up. They roll again. This time they're trying to get as close to 12 as possible. Blue decides just to add them all together. Five and 5 is 10, and 10 and 4 more make 14, which is just 2 off. What does red do? Red decides to go 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 plus 4 make 12, which is right on the number. And so red gets to go up to the next step. They both roll again for the next number, which will be 20. Blue rolls and red rolls, looking for 20 this time. Blue decides to go for one, and one more, make two, and two times six makes twelve. Not a great number, but it's okay. Red decides to go two plus three is five, and five times four, that does make twenty. So red gets to climb up to the next tier. Now that we've gone all the way to twenty, we'll start at zero again. So blue's going to roll and red's going to roll, trying to get to the number zero this time. Blue decides to start with six, subtract two from that, getting to four, subtracting one more, getting to three. That's pretty close to zero. 
Red has the same numbers, and Red says, I like what you've done. I'll do the same. 6 minus 2 is 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So both players get to climb up another level. Let's do one more round. We're trying to get to the number 1 this time. Blue is going to make the same play as last time. 6 minus 2 is 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3. That's only 2 off from 1. And red? Red plays 5 plus 4, making 9. And 9 minus 6 also makes 3. So both players get to climb up to the next perch. Next turn, we'll focus on the number 5. Both players are trying to work their way up to the very, very pinnacle of this mountain in Operation Mountaintop. For this game, you will need some paper, something to write with, dice, share them if you need to, playing pieces, and, uh, oh yeah, a bear. Enjoy this game.